I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Bonaparte. Leave me. Thank you. I have no time to spare. 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 Duke Manuel Godoy. Monsieur Bonaparte. Ah, oh, excuse me, I was expecting someone else. Mr. Godoy, do you have a moment? Your timing's awkward, Dorishi. I'm expecting someone. I haven't time. Please leave me. Very well. I won't insist. Hmm. Looks like he only wants to speak to Bonaparte. I know what I have to do if I want to speak to him. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis, do you want something? Yes, for you to test the Duke's loyalty, since he'll only speak to you. Well... Whatever it is, I haven't the time. The conference will shortly begin, and I want to be focused. Uh, sorry. Come back and see me afterwards. I see I haven't much choice. Seeing as Godoy will only talk to Bonaparte, and Bonaparte will talk to no one, I have no other choice but to borrow his body. Nothing personal here, Napoleon. Look, I'm sorry. This conference is of utmost importance to me, and I should like to be prepared for it. Concentrate, Louis. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? I don't want to fall flat on my face when my spirit passes inside you. No, I don't think you've understood, Derichet. Link into his thoughts, Louis. Come on. I said I did not want to be disturbed. That's it. I sense something. What word in Leave Me Alone do you not understand? Come on, just keep going and... Get inside his mind. Now. Too bad for you. You can't say that I haven't. Thank you very much for the loan of this body, monsieur. Right. Let's not waste any more time, Louis. Godoy is waiting. Ah, there you are at last, Bonaparte. My lord Duke. What a typically French attitude. Come, you let's are not... 20 minutes late. Without the least excuse. I am risking a lot, monsieur. You seem to forget. Uh... Please excuse me. Well, what did you want to see me about? Hmm. So, 
Let's see whose side he's really on. I wanted to be sure. You are still going to vote for Mortimer, as planned, yes? Mortimer? What the devil are you talking about, Bonaparte? I am on Holmes' side, and I intend to vote against Mortimer's project. What on earth is wrong with him? He seems very odd. My Lord Duke, I never once dreamed of you playing on both sides of the fence. But uh, I was given to understand that you and the Lord Mortimer do have a few interests in common. But I... I don't know what on earth you are talking about. Lord Mortimer and myself may agree on a number of subjects, but I am and shall always remain loyal to Sir Gregory. You see, there is no reason to think that I could ever side with Mortimer. Oh, that's a pity. He was going to make you an offer. What are you talking about? Make yourself clear. I do not understand you. This doesn't seem like the way Mortimer normally proceeds. I'll know if he's lying or not by what he has to offer. Come on, my Lord Duke. We both know very well what we are talking about. I thank you for not wasting my time. I never dreamed of it, Monsieur. I have a fair idea as to your presence here, but for some reason, something doesn't seem quite right. I... I am somewhat lost, to tell the truth. And this just isn't like you. I wonder if... It really is you, in fact. What? You're just fishing around because you're the one who's changed sides. What? What on earth are you talking about? You're working for Holm. Admit it. No, I'm not. Don't be ridiculous. He's asked you to flush out the traitors in his team, hasn't he? Of course he hasn't. Admit it. I'm sure he's lying. I cannot make out what it is, but something is very wrong here. I will not fall into a trap. Are you joking? Upon my honor, I urge you to believe that I am not the sort to play on both sides of the fence, monsieur. Very well, very well. There is no point getting on your high horse. If you are really working for Mortimer, why did he task you to question me like this? I do not understand. If he really, really is here on behalf of Mortimer, all he would have to do is tell me the code we agreed upon. Whatever happens, if he doesn't say hummingbird, it means I've fallen into a trap. Right. I think we've wasted enough time here. I could not agree more. Hummingbird. Did you... pardon? You heard me. Hummingbird. At last. Heavens above. Why did you not tell me before? I didn't think I would need to... Imbecile! Someone could have caught us. Listen. I'll take your word for it, but tell Mortimer that he's making me run too great a risk. I already gave him my approval, and we agreed not to speak about it on the island. Just imagine for a minute if Holm had caught us. You might not know what he is capable of, but I certainly do. It would be the end of me. The bastard. He really is a traitor. Uh, please excuse me, Duke Manuel, but that wasn't the intention. I shall go and reassure Lord Mortimer about the vote. And uh, I promise to avoid you running any more risks. I hope so. Now please, leave me. We must not be seen together. Ah, there you are at last, Bonaparte. My lord, Duke. What a typically French attitude. Come, you let's not... You are 20 minutes late, without the least excuse. I am risking a lot, monsieur. You seem to forget. Uh, please excuse me. Well, what did you want to see me about? Hmm. So, let's see whose side he's really on. I wanted to be sure. You are still going to vote for Mortimer, as planned, yes? Mortimer? What the devil are you talking about, Bonaparte? I am on Holmes' side, and I intend to vote against Mortimer's project. What on earth is wrong with him? He seems very odd. Come now, my Lord Duke. You can't fool me. We both know that you will follow Lord Mortimer when it comes to the vote. My young friend, I do not know what's wrong with you, but you are out of your mind. I came here upon Sir Gregory's invitation, and I intend to bury this ludicrous idea of selling Louisiana. You see, there is no reason to think that I could ever side with Mortimer. Oh, that's a pity. He was going to make you an offer. What are you talking about? Make yourself clear. I do not understand you.
This doesn't seem like the way Mortimer normally proceeds. I'll know if he's lying or not by what he has to offer. Well, Lord Mortimer was willing to offer you a small fortune as compensation for the risks involved. He wants to buy me? What kind of a man does he take me for? Damn it. This doesn't seem to be the right approach. Please excuse me. I must have misunderstood. I hope so. Because I am not the kind of man to be tempted by any sum of money, monsieur. No matter how generous. Bonaparte, I really don't know what you're playing at, but you seem completely off track. For the last time, I shall follow Sir Gregory for the Louisiana vote, and you can tell Mortimer that I'm not the kind to break my word. Understood, but I... I... have nothing more to say. Please, leave me now. It's time to get going. My Lord Duke, my apologies for being late. What? A Frenchman who apologizes? Decidedly, my stay here has never ceased to uncover surprises. So, have you any more information about Derichet? What do you mean? Are you joking? We agreed you would check to see if Derichet really has changed sides. Oh, that. Yes, indeed. It appears that he's been brought over to Sir Gregory's side. A traitor! He pushed me into turning against Sir Gregory to finally follow him himself! If you want my opinion, he must be hiding something. The villain. I was hoping he was just absent or busy snooping around all over the place in search of his mother. No, it would seem he really has joined, Sir Gregory. I have a bad feeling about this. I know what you mean. I wager he knows Mortimer is going to lose the vote. Don't you think we ought to think about ourselves and make sure we don't end up on the wrong side? What? You would be prepared to leave Mortimer as well? What do you say? I refuse to be made a laughing stock. If that is the case, I am voting for Holm as well. I think you are right, my Lord Duke. After all, Sir Gregory was my first choice. Exactly. But until then, not a word to anyone for safety's sake. I think it's preferable. Yes, you're right. And we'd better not stay together. Someone might see us. Good luck, my Lord Duke. Likewise. It's time to get going. What's your opinion of Duke Manuel? Duke Manuel won't be supporting us. How dare he! If it weren't for me, he wouldn't be where he is today. I had to trick him in order to make sure. I passed inside Napoleon, so that he would talk to me. Congratulations, Louis! I see you're not one to stop at half measures. I pretended that I was only checking he was still working for Mortimer. And he confessed? He was suspicious right to the end, but yes, he ended up giving himself away and conceded he was working for your brother. The scoundrel! So, do we agree? Agreed. Let's return to our places now. You're right. Hmm. What were they talking about? Louis, a moment of your time, please. Yes, monsieur. What can I do for you? I would like you to hear me out without interrupting. It's in your interest. You are in a perilous situation, and I want to avoid you becoming a laughingstock. What exactly are you talking about? The reason why we are all here. You might think you can win, but... Indeed. It looks that way, doesn't it? Well, think again. You don't know everything. In actual fact, all of Sir Gregory's team is working for Mortimer. If you vote for Holm, Mortimer will never forgive you. And I can assure you that he is taken down far tougher than you. Are you threatening me? Not me, Louis. But you are the only one who hasn't turned against Sir Gregory. Join us. Vote with us if you do not want to feel the wrath of Mortimer alone. Is that all? That's all, yes. I just wanted to warn you. Now you are free to vote where your conscience leads you. Good luck. So, he's the one who's been persuading them all to turn back. I just gotta hope that Holmes managed to pull off his conjuring trick. Otherwise, Bonaparte's right. I'll be the only one voting against Mortimer, and therefore, the only one to face the consequences. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. 
One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Napoleon? For Mr. Von Volner. I deserve a great destiny, and I will let nothing, nor no one, stand in the way of my dream. You found the lance. I don't know where to begin, and, and time is running out. It's hard for me to help. Where did you last see it? Well, Napoleon took it from me. That's where I would start. Yes, you're right. He didn't know what it was. He might still have it. You had better check. Make haste. You really must lay your hands on it, Louis. An object that touched the blood of Christ. It's not the kind of thing you come across every day. Think hard. I have faith in you. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Bonaparte is not available. I must ask you to please... I shan't beat around the bush, my good fellow. I have every reason to believe that Monsieur Bonaparte has betrayed your master's trust. But I still need to find the proof by inspecting his personal effects. So I'd be much obliged if you would stand out of my way. I say, sir, that is a grave accusation. My master knows and appreciates Monsieur Bonaparte. What's the matter? You seem to be a bit troubled all of a sudden. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I... Yes, indeed, sir. I remember being surprised by... an object. I found something in Napoleon's effects. A lance head. Just what I thought. Well done, my friend. Your master will be proud of you. I shall tell him that you... Have you a name? Well, it's just that... A number? Maybe a letter? <laughs> no matter. He'll be proud. Anyway. I must lay my hands on that lance and give it back to Lord Mortimer. Keep an eye on him while I search, and don't hesitate to knock him out should he wake up. Uh, very well, sir. Luckily, Napoleon couldn't put it back in its place. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. 
Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. <laughs>